Um, I, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, Green Arrow, because he's just a man, he doesn't have superpowers, and he's not an alien from another world, and he, it's just about a man who's, you know, uh, decided to take this mission to uh, set things right. I think that makes him very relatable, um, especially right now, just in the, in the zeitgeist. There's, uh, you know, the world feels a little bit off <laughs> right now to a lot of people, and just the, I think the notion of somebody sort of, you know, picking up a bow and arrow and, uh, you know, standing up for the little guy and, you know, taking back, you know, what so many uh, people have lost is, uh, you know, feels like the right time. It's a sense of duty. His father has given him a list. His father has asked him to write his wrongs. And that, he is tunnel vision with that right now. Like, all the other stuff in his life, he dance. He's after that. It was to do three things, really. It was to, yes, that's yes. the very well, first, that's, that is literally the, the opening shot of Oliver's journey that's going to turn him from that spoiled playboy into the hero that we see five years later. Um, so we definitely wanted to say, like, you know, this is, this is serious. What's happening to him is very serious. The second thing we wanted to do was, like you said, make it really clear that do not expect to see... Um, Oliver's father wash up on shore. Hey, son, I was really tired from swimming all the way. Um, and then the third thing we wanted to do was send a message to the audience that this show is a lot more hardcore and serious and, and hard-hitting than you might be expecting uh, from a show based on a character called Green Arrow. Um, so it's a little bit of a mission, part of our mission statement of the show. That question is sort of a perfect question about what he's kind of struggling with in the first year, which is, you know, what is the nature of justice? And, you know, just because someone's name on a list, if somebody told you these people did a lot of bad things, doesn't mean that they're all kind of bad, and, you know, and it's, and that's, that's an evolution that will happen for him as a character. Well, that's funny because it's one of the things we talk a lot about on the show that, you know, Oliver doesn't see himself as a hero and in a lot of ways, you know, the series is, you know, at the, when he starts the series, he's the Arrow and it's really about him becoming the Green Arrow and, you know, take, you know, figuring out uh, how he can, you know, branch away from just sort of vengeance um, into, uh, into justice. Yeah, we always talk about the idea that, you know, when Oliver was on the island and he was plotting his return to Starling and this, you know, grand plan he had to put on a hood and, and, and start fighting crime, the things he never considered were his family, his friends, his mother, his sister, his new stepfather, um, moral, you know, love. And it all seemed very easy and clean on the island, but now that he's back, you know, he's having to deal with all his emotions and other people's needs and his own needs. And uh, suddenly what was very simple to him uh, on the island is becoming very complicated, and that's where all the great drama from the series comes.